lakini kama wa Kristo ende ja Kristo ni changamoto kwetu what are we saying where is our trust trust yetu inaele tumtumainie Mungu tumuelegele mwadhani with all kena vionde kila kitu vionde do not trust half ukielegele nusu i will give a scenario nkaezana in a real life ye maisha jetu ya kawaida where we work na ratwita ngoge in your business ke biashara siaku you have either you have workers or you are a worker yourself and many a times you will look at your workers or your boss will look at you and they will say this person is trustworthy this person i can trust because maybe you do your assignments right you deliver your dead, your targets on time and so many other earthly factors but our god is beyond when we say that we put our trust in god he is beyond the measures that we as men use to measure eh beyond ke measurement ila tu maira tunaambiwa kwamba mungu ako nasi kila wakati it is not like your boss you will leave the office and get home this is a boss we to mbo tigo bisi ageta no and go and maybe backbite okay at igu gutana unasema wacha nimfurahishe nifanye hii ndio nimfurahishe but our god is not like that if we choose to trust in god and surrender everything unto him he is a faithful god na hakika atatubeba tutafika mahali we will be saying that it is god who has brought us this far and for sure we have seen god deliver us even as a nation as a church at a personal level i want to believe that you have a testimony of what god has done for you there was a time you trusted him on one thing and he came through for you and because of that one thing my brother my sister hold on shikilia igwatere shikilia hapo usimwachilie because <coughs> mungu anatuambia kwamba hakika yeye ni mwaminifu na atasimama na sisi sisi ndio wakati mwingine tunatoka tunawasema wacha sasa nitafute plan b kenyans we are so used to that akenya iko menyeretie bo in wacha jaribu hii if it does not go through plan b iko na c na d lakini trusting god we need to do it 100% 100% and if there was 101 then that would have been the best so uh, allow me now to <coughs> define what trust is is a firm belief in the ability Kenya on someone a firm belief on the ability of someone or something and in our case we will talk about someone because you're talking about our god so we are saying that trusting god is having a firm belief yes to our god and when we have that firm belief then we will not be swayed we will remain grounded we will be rooted in him irrespective of what is happening around us uh, so we're going to look at a number of people in the bible 
that trusted God. And as we're doing this, let, it, uh, let us try and uh, think. Ingekuwa ni mimi hiyo time. Okay, the way you get a real day. Ninge fanya nini. The lady is there. And the first person you're going to look at is Noah. Ntuombele toka atega hii Noah. 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 Uh, was in a family set up just like we come from. Adege family nja kenja. Ojara tumete. And one day God tells him. Nale ntukwe mamurungu waka mwela. I want you to build something. Nkwenda waka gento. These are the dimensions. This is the wood that the type of wood that you will use. And Noah takes an action. And as he was doing that, he really got a lot of questions and tribute from the friends. Wondering what is this you now building? Mbona. In our day-to-day life, we will find out that we are going to get a lot of money. But because he's trusted in God, and he took God's word to be final, he obeyed. And the Bible tells us that immediately when he finished constructing the ark, the rains came. And there were floods. If it were you, okay. at that time, would you have taken the instructions? 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 But Noah chose to obey. And he trusted in God. And I believe that is where we read about Noah in the Bible. So it is a challenge to us. Let us obey God. Let us take our trust on our God. Another person that we look at is Joseph. Joseph grew up in a family again, just like we have. Joseph was a family of Tatwe. And uh, we are uh, he was we told he was a last born. Twero Ali Mwano Mizjo. Na alikuwa na character. Na ale a character. Inye the brothers didn't like. Ele atano mina batienda. They were wondering, ay sasa wu ne. In our current day to ngesema kona kierere sana. Bali kara ona bali do da ito re to ganye na kierere. But there was something about him. There was something about Joseph that he had to guard and protect. Irrespective, bila kujali vile ndugu zake walikuwa wanasema. It got to a point the brothers decided I uh, um to watch at umpeane. He goes, becomes a slave. And then Potiphar's wife is there. And decides kaka kijana kuna vile. Kuna vile. And decides what a nijaribu kuona kama atakubali kuingia box yangu. These are the challenges facing us this in this day and age. You have your boss, whether it's a he or a she, and they are looking at you and wondering, "Hey, will you say you a promotion?" Kuja. Tukutane mahali fulani. To Malaysia, your promotion hapo. Is it a favor you need maybe at, at the workplace? How do you get it? But Joseph, Ali, and Elea, he trusted in God. He did not agree to sin. Because he would have seen, hey, oh, buwana, oh, ni, ni bibia. So, kuna vile kuna do huku. 
But he chose no. And that is why he rose to get even to his destiny. Had he compromised, we would not be reading about the Joseph who again welcomed the brother in that story. So it is a challenge again to us as Christians in this day and age tunaishi aje kwa hizo ofisi zetu kwa hizo biashara zetu we say we are Christians we trust in God lakini ikifika the other side tunasema ah wacha kwanza ni compromise ende akinyaro terero roko ah andi diebo ni compromise alafu nitarudi andi diebo ende ngasho But one thing let me tell you if we trust in God 100% yeye atatupigania wewe akatoroera yeye atatupigania akatoroera we do not need to bow down or to get down and say let me put my christianity aside and do a compromise tote pati kwa na mana kugambe kyo kristo bako kando kienda ndivye bo but he will stand with us if we stand for his word he will fight for us we will get favor that we, we even don't know where it's coming from blessings will locate us if only we will choose to trust on god not to look at our godfathers not to look at our families not to even look at our friends don't look at your mp your mca but look unto god kwa sababu biblia inasema that cast is he who puts his trust in man but they who trust in god atawashindania ata renew nguvu zao so let us continue trusting on god so And uh, the other person we're going to look at is Peter. Peter was a disciple of Jesus. Petro ale murito wa Jesu. And uh, Peter Petro So uh, the story there is a narration. I'm just trying to paraphrase the narration. So Kwena rogono wangu endo logita gita. So Peter was a disciple and um, Jesus had gone out to pray. Peter Petro are molito na Jesus na tete kuromba and he left the disciples and as he was coming he was walking on the water and the disciples were like hey kuna ghost alitoba ah kuna ghost si hata si tutasema hivyo tukiona mtu saa hizi itasema ai ile nyate ba uto kwa gatona mtu tete gorola roje na arua the disciples were saying this is a ghost But uh, Peter decided to take a different turn. And he said, if it is you Jesus, tell me to walk. And he decided to walk on water. That is why up to today we learn about the miracle that Peter walked on water. But there was Peter got to a point and started doubting. And the minute he doubted, he started sinking. He started sinking. And uh, thank God that uh, Jesus rescued him very fast. But uh, imagine in our day to day life. You have trusted in God. Dili meivana. But along the way, ende kakitu tu kadogo. Kanto kanini. Kadogo tu. Kanini. Mdosi anakuambia, "Ai, hapa. Mdosi akakwera. Lazima ufanye one two. Lazima odivye one." Which is a compromise. And you give in. Same case the way Peter did. You give in. 
and uh, the minute you're giving in you're doubting you're saying that I would jamanda li nisaidia idil nikapata it is him who helped me get this job and you forget that you had trusted God and we forget that it is God who did it for us and we st- we also start sinking we start going down we start going down and down and down so it is a challenge to us how many times have we said that i trust in god just as a statement but it should be more than a statement it should come from within you it should be something a conviction right from within you that when you say i am trusting god for this i am trusting god for healing i am trusting god for our family i am trusting god for my children for my academics your life everything about your life let us mean it let us not take it as a mere statement because that is what our god desires and uh, we have we also have somebody else who trusted in god and uh, this is the woman with the issue of blood and this lady we are told that she had suffered visited all doctors in our coming yakuwa ni sahi angekuwa ameenda india amerudi okay there in area there there india shoka ameta zunguka ma hospitali zote kenya ta gani gani zote adhioro ka hospitali sionde kenya ta sionde bas ametumia kienyeji atumira siya ya kienyeji imekata nabi alega but he dis- she decided ende aradhoka arabanga she made a resolve arabanga that I will just go and touch the hem. Do you imagine the faith this lady had? And the trust. Because as even as you seated, if somebody were to touch the hem of your dress. Okay, jiko za murungu akagwata. Mungu akagwata akarutere kangu eko. Or your trouser. Can after mwaguta jwaku. It would even go unnoticed. But this lady had faith just knowing si kutaka hakutaka msalimie. Ende mto moyo corona ale awete kio atenda amukethia. Si kusalimia. You know the way. Thank you. When uh, maybe we have a dignitary coming in. Wena mugenyo giteo wejete. We always want to shake their hands. Ito kwendo kethia njara si yao. And take a photo with them. Kojo kiambisha abo. Say I was here. So that as you go out you'll be saying tulikuwa na nani. Hakutaka hiyo. All she decided. All she resolved. Was just to touch the hem. Because alikuwa amesikia. Huyu mtu anaponya. Ana nguvu. Za kuponya. And this lady decided if only I touch the hem of his garment then my problem will be finished ugonjwa wangu utapona and true to her faith and her belief we are told that the mean immediately immediately she touched the hem the issue of blood stopped and jesus turned and started asking who touched me and the disciples were like ai kwa hii crowd yote si watu wanaguzana guzana tu and they would just they were just dismissing it but we told that jesus felt power leave him and it, the woman was told go woman your faith has healed you 
and you whole. It is not just the issue of blood. It was being whole. Holds, yani, <laughs> kila kitu chake kimeregeshwa. Kuponyaji, ile mali alipoteza yote. Akizunguka, akitafuta matibabu. Iliregeshwa. And it is only because she chose to trust in God. She chose to trust. Remember we said that trusting is just having a firm belief. A firm belief. She left her house believing that the minute I will touch the hem, I will be whole. How I pray that we would have such trust on this God. That we will not labor, have sleepless nights, wondering how tomorrow will be. But we will only trust in him. We will put our hope and trust in him. And because if we do that, he is a faithful God. To our desired destiny. Let us not doubt. Let us not doubt. Let us put our trust a hundred percent. A hundred percent. We used to be very excited in primary when you got a hundred percent. Give that a hundred percent unto God. Trust on God. And um, as I conclude, uh, you cannot trust without faith and without hope. We will need the two to ignite our trust. And the two are interlinked. Usually we are told that um, uh, now faith is faith is a substance is Hebrew, Hebrews 11 Hebrews 11 one now faith is a substance of things hoped for thank you now faith is a substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen And we are saying that for us to trust in God, we will need to have faith. And we are told that faith is substance of things hoped for. Hope, when it is tangible, we are calling it faith. And without that faith and hope, we will not be able to trust on our God. So let us let it be a challenge to us that we will activate our hope so that our faith will be raised also. And we will trust on God. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Usikuwe na plan B. And if you decide to go the plan B way, then wacha ngangana kwanza. Ngangana na jigitafutie, jisaidie kidogo. Then uone utafikia wapi. Uone uga kinyana. You will not go far. But if you choose to trust in God, if you choose to trust in God, then 
your it, things shall be okay. Your life shall be well. It shall be well with you and your household. So it is uh, my prayer this morning that we will leave this place learn, having learned how to trust on God and we will not doubt that when he says we are healed we will go by it. When he says that we are at the top we shall be the head that is what we will choose to believe. It does not matter. It may take long. It may tally. But surely, surely, it shall come to pass. It, in our own uh, calculations, we might want it to be today. We might want it to be by Christmas. But God knows the right time. All we have to do is to continue trusting on him. Trusting on him. A hundred percent. As uh, finally, finally, kindly give, Give us Psalms 125, Psalms 125, verse 1. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. Yes. So that is my prayer. That we will, we will be the people being called those. We can read, you can put your name there. And say, I, Monica, will trust in the Lord. And I will be like Mount Zion. I cannot be moved. And I will abide forever. May the Lord bless you. <laughs>